Hi there and welcome to another short tutorial from me, Mike Thomas, the Excel Trainer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customise the ribbon in Excel 2011 for the Mac. If you're looking to learn how to do this in the Windows version, that's covered in a separate tutorial. Now, the ribbon is made up of a number of tabs. So you can see here the Home tab, the Layout tab, the Tables tab, etc. And each tab contains sections or groups. So in the Home tab, we've got the Edit group, we've got the Font group, we've got the Alignment group, and so on. If I want to change the order of the tabs, I need to go over to the very right hand side and click on this little arrow just next to the gear and select Customize Ribbon Tab Order. And that puts little stripes just to the right of each ribbon name. And I simply drag and drop. So if I wanted to move the Developer tab over to the uh, left hand side, I can just drag it over and drop it where I want it. If I want to pick up the Layout tab, I move that over between Formulas and Data, I can do that. If I want to remove a tab, then I just click on the little cross that is next to that particular tab. So if I wanted to remove the Data tab, for example, just click on the cross. And then when I'm happy with it, click on Done. If I want to get back tabs that I've removed, then click back on the arrow next to the gear and click on Ribbon Preferences. I can also get to those by going up to Excel on the menu and choosing Preferences and then going to Ribbon. And from here you can see which groups or which tabs are currently displayed and which are not. Put a tick back into Data, that will turn it back on, click on OK and data reappears. So there we go. That's how to customize the ribbon in Excel 2011 for the Mac. Thanks for watching and I hope you found that useful. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Excel, please check out my free training at theexceltrainer.co.uk.